Even if, if rank doesn't matter, I've, I've looked at all the belt things that they've done in Taekwondo or Karate, it's just a symbol of progression. So what people want to know is, am I progressing or am I just kind of sporadically doing and something? And wrong, what's wrong with people having, what's wrong with people being recognized and rewarded for their of hard course. work and effort? Yeah, nothing. Right? But, but see, so, again, um, it would, it's people who run schools who are wondering, how do I keep students? Right? Well, here, here's the thing. It's a cliche, right? But it's said that people don't care how much you know, right? Until they know how much you care. Exactly. So one of the things you have to make sure that you impart to your students is that you care about them. Yeah. You care about their development. Yeah. Right? Um, now, that that doesn't mean you have to become best friends with oh, them or whatever. But you have to do what you, what you can to make sure that they know. Yeah. Well, one way of... Showing people that you're interested in their development is having an organized curriculum. Mm -hmm. You know, 100%. right? Back in the days when I when I was spending time in Napma in its first iteration with uh, uh, John Graydon right. and uh, Rob Colosanti, and then later on with Stephen Oliver. Uh -huh. That's when I learned about Black Belt Club. <laughs> right? Yeah. Can't use that. No, nope, it's not. <laughs> Can't use that, okay. right? But can I use the principle of that? Can I use the idea of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Phase four club. Exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of like a lot of times we have to just look past and look at what the meaning actually is. It's not just everything at face value, right? Right. Be because what? Look. But that's something very genuine. Any English. answer, any answer that you get on the surface yeah. is not the real exactly. answer. It's not the only answer. Right. You got to dive deep. Yeah. Right. When when you and I first started talking about about marketing and, and what have you, if you did not, if you if you never if you never what's the participle dived deep dove deep. dove deep. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you had never dived deep, right, you wouldn't be where you are now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. If it was just. And, and then it's that whole, um, it's that other cliche about teaching a man the fish versus yeah. giving, him, giving him the fish. Yeah. JKD is all, JK, and this, this, is a, this, is a, this is an inherent or built-in uh, limitation yeah. so to Jeet Kune Do, because a lot of times you end up teaching people how to go into competition with you. Right. Because we give so yeah. much we, you know there's not this this holding back thing or whatever yeah. so that sometimes is an aspect that um, you know that that's something you can learn from the Taekwondo people from the, the, the right. more established people how to build your empire yeah and there's nothing wrong with building the JKD empire and actually if you think about it some JKD guys have done that they wouldn't use the term empire and I, and I wouldn't use the term empire but you know Sifu Dan himself has his instructor association yep. right uh, Cass has his instructor association um, Burton Richardson has done a good job with that. Um, um, well, you know, Rick Faye has done a good job with, with, with If that. you're not spread, if you're not actually actively trying to grow, for anybody who's actually got their own school or their own, or their own club, I mean, if you're really trying to spread Jeet Kune Do, wouldn't it be better if you could just do it full time and then just instead of teaching only five people, maybe you were able to teach 10 people and 20 people? I mean, I... I of course. Yeah. Of course. That's the reason the page was started, because I realized instead of just owning a martial arts school, I used to have a martial arts school in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I think it was Jose who's in there, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I used to have a school right there um, where you are, but I realized I could reach far more people. I think we've got 24, 25,000 people who follow us right here on the Jeet Kune Do page. In an instant, we can get messages out to literally thousands of people. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do. Because there's so many other martial arts who've literally just kind of dominated the mainstream. Right. But I think we can dominate it without selling out. I think we can grow and yeah. still keep the principles, still keep the technique, and just show that it is possible. You don't have to sell out to a, be a, a, a Taekwondo school, but you're a JKD school at heart, but you know Taekwondo is working out. There's nothing wrong with Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. But we've got everything we need here. I mean, Bruce Lee himself had... Thousands of books, maybe not thousands, but at least hundreds of books well, on personal development, on sales, on business, on marketing, and he did it because he wanted well, it to was grow. thousands because it well, was thousands. Well, yeah. the whole library was supposed to consist of over two thousand books. Right? It's huge. I mean, yeah. and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he he really got into movies to spread JKD. He wanted that yes. the principles to grow. Well, and my he, my my theory, my understanding, and my theory on it is that. The idea of spreading the art one new student at a time. Right. Right? He wasn't down with that. No. And so it became 
if I do a movie, right, and I inject certain lessons into this movie, yeah, I'll reach millions. Exactly, and, just like that. Yeah, it's like what we're doing now. Except I think Bruce Lee would have been like a social media god in today's world because I think he would have had a social media manager. I don't know that he would be like. Well, he may not be the. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. He'd be too. But in, he would be know? using the. He would be using it because it's. If you're trying to get JKD out, it's fun to then, it's fun to imagine what what Bruce what would he would have done, right? You know, yeah. I mean, I don't think Dan and Osano tweets. Um, no. Um, I got a text message from him. Yeah, that's and pretty I, cool. I, I, that's I'm pretty so cool. Proud, I'm so proud. Of that. <laughs> right. Um, I got a, I got a phone call. Oh, I tell the hey, Kevin story. Seaman says seafood Dwight is one of my favorite people. Ah, oh, thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I I got a phone call. This was uh, a number of years ago, right? Um, <laughs> so I look at the caller ID because it, it was it was during you know office hours right the call and it says uh, Dan in the Santa or in the Santa Academy right right so you know so who picked up, that up right he goes Dwight <laughs> he goes you'll never guess who was at my school I go no see I'll never guess because he's famous I go okay he goes yeah we're training him uh double sword and 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 sword and dagger for his new movie he's famous i go yeah, okay <laughs> he goes, yeah he's got the same initials as you i go dw he goes yeah i go denzel wash he goes yeah wow <laughs> we're training him for his new movie book of eli wow i right? remember that okay yeah so i go i go oh i go that's real good I go, look, you tell Denzel Washington that he's not the first DW to train with you. It's me. <laughs> That's awesome. Right? That's, That's awesome. Yeah. It, it's, um, you know, that, 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 look, that's another thing, right? That's another <laughs> thing. I answered a question the other day um, about John Wick's style. Yes. Right? Somebody sent a question to me about what's John Wick's martial arts style. And other people had answered the question and said, I remember one in particular said, it's a combination of judo and karate and something. And and I thought, okay, I could let that go. Yeah. Or, right? And this, <laughs> this, this, this I mean, you've known me for a long time. You know that I have a, 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 a somewhat different approach to dealing with things. Yeah, yeah, right? you won't let that one go. <laughs> so... My answer was something like this. You just have to take a look at the names of the people involved in the making of the movie mm -hmm. and you'll get a better idea. Exactly. Chad Stahelski oh. directed both films. David Leach co-directed John Wick 1. Jonathan Eusebio was a fight coordinator for both films. Wow. What do these three people have in common? They were all students slash instructors at the Inesano Academy in Marina del Rey, California, home, home of the world famous Dan Inesano, protege of Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do. Yeah. So what you're seeing on screen, right, is cinematic, whatever. And then I mentioned, you know, the sam the Russian sambo, right, the catch, the, right. the, the catch wrestling, because all three of them also trained with Eric Paulson. Oh wow! Right in yeah. CSW. <laughs> you see, in in yeah, in, so they in, got in shoot right. with Yuri, you know, through I mean, through Eric passed on from from Yuri and what have you, yeah. right? So there's Brazilian jiu jitsu in there. There's there's the thing they they call their thing gun fu, right? So, you know, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, then yeah, there's yeah. there's the tactical handgun stuff and whatever. But it's not judo and karate, right? And it's not Brazilian jiu jitsu, no. right? Not not it's at like all. cinematic JKD. But see, but <laughs> when when I talk like that, yeah, I get myself in trouble. Because people go, be insecure people, they go, oh, who's he think he is? He thinks he knows so much. Yeah. No, I don't know much. I sit. Hey, so have you, been, have you ever been to the movies with me? Yes, you sit with a notepad. All right? Yeah. When the credits roll, do I get up and walk uh -huh. out? No. Stay to see who drew Information, yeah. man. That's right. Right? That's right. You see? Now, you don't have to do that anymore because there's the internet movie database. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. I research the movie before I go watch it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't this, care yeah. about spoilers or whatever, yeah. right? Knowing what's going to happen just enables me to look for it. I am so stupid. <laughs> when I'm watching the movie, I sit forward in my, in my chair, right? Thinking that I'll see it better. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'll see where they make a mistake or something, right? Got it. Yeah. Because this idea, 
this idea of going to the movies to escape. You ever heard people say that? Yes. What the hell is yeah. that? <laughs> you escape. Two hours later, when you come out of the cinema, you're back in your life. That's it. What, 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 you're not what, what, so what is this idea of escape? Yeah. No, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually about to wrap up this initial broadcast, guys. If you like this, please shoot some uh, some likes, some hearts, share it out to as many people as you can. We're going to be doing another broadcast. Uh, maybe in the next couple weeks or something. Yeah. We'll see. We're going to push this out to some more people. So, Sifu, how can people, if they're if you're in Miami, how can people actually come train with you? Uh, best thing to do is send me an email, because uh, I'm old school. Uh, send an email to UMAA office at AOL.com. Uh, or if, if you're more new school, uh, text me at, um, uh, shoot, uh, no. We'll stick with the email. Yeah. Send <laughs> He's an email to UMAA <laughs> office at AOL.com or go to unifiedmartialart.com and click on contact us because then I think you can find a phone number there. Yeah, I think that's where the mobile number is or you can use that form. Yeah, so if, if you're in Miami and, you know, and if, if you're not in Miami and, um, you know, you'd ever want to interact with me on a personal basis. That's something that can be arranged also. That's one of the directions. You asked right, yeah. what's next. That's one of the directions that we're going in. But, um, yeah, you know, it's been a long time coming, but uh, JKD is my life. And, and so for the, the remaining years, this is what I'm going to be doing. That's awesome. Yeah. So, guys, if you need to get a hold of them, go to unifiedmartialart.com or go to UMAA office at G or at AOL. AOL. U or you can email them, UMAA office at AOL.com. Old and school. Old rules. school. Thank you so much, Sifu. <laughs> I appreciate it. Take care, guys. Make sure you share this out. See you soon. Nice job. Nice job. And post.